Bacteria thrive anywhere food is commercially prepared or served. That's why FDA Food Code requires the use of sanitizers on food contact surfaces, in wear washing systems, and in three compartment sinks. Sanitizers reduce bacterial levels, but when it comes to killing germs, more is not necessarily better. Too much can be harmful, even toxic, while too little won't do the job. That's why Health Code requires that sanitizer concentrations are checked with test kits regularly. Here's how to keep food safe and people healthy. Testing Chlorine Solutions Prepare the chlorine solution according to the manufacturer's instructions. When testing the accuracy of its dilution, use an appropriate test kit like CM240. Check the kit to make sure it hasn't expired. Tear off about 2 inches of test paper and dip the strip into a room temperature chlorine solution. Remove the test strip from the solution and blot it lightly with a paper towel. Compare the color on the strip with the kit's color chart. The closest matching color indicates the free chlorine concentration. Test the solution when it's first prepared and retest it every two hours or so. If the concentration isn't at your target, test it again and adjust the solution as necessary. Or just make a new batch. And be sure to test all sanitizer buckets and spray bottles too. Test kits are reliable and easy to use, and they're required by health code. So always remember to dip the strip.